Do you guys know Rachel Corey? So Rachel Corey was an American, and uh, 21 years ago, she was in Gaza. She was trying to protest and, and stop an Israeli bulldozer from demolishing a Palestinian family's home. And she, she was crushed to death by the Israeli bulldozer on purpose. On purpose, absolutely on purpose, without, without question. And, and then, of course, you know, uh, Zionists will laugh at her and make fun of her because they are, they, you know, they do this, they, they are like that. This is their, you know, they have no, no, uh, they have nothing else to say, really. This is, <laughs> this is their, <laughs> this, this is Rachel, let me play you a clip. I'm from the United States. I'm from Olympia, Washington. Rachel Corey became internationally famous when she was crushed to death by a bulldozer in Gaza last year. We are international human rights observers from the United Kingdom, from England, from Scotland, from Italy, and from the United States of America. I've been here for about a month and a half now. And this is definitely the most difficult situation that I've ever seen. Um, in the time that I've been here, um, children have been shot and killed. Um, on the 30th of January, the Israeli military bulldozed the two largest water wells, um, destroying over, over half of Rafa's water supply. Every few days, if not every day, houses are, are demolished here. Did you hear what she said? She, she was talking about Rafa. I mean, it's like nothing changed, man. Nothing changed. I, I, I wonder what she would say if she saw now 1.5 million Gaza residents huddled, uh, you know, uh, all shoved into, into Rafah. I mean, re re truly scandalous. Truly scandalous what the Israelis have done. The, the crimes of this occupation are, are you know, they, 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 they are a mountain, a mountain of crimes. When the bulldozer crushed her, Rachel became the first American martyr to die in Palestine at the age of 23. While her death inspired others to follow in her footsteps, her parents were left trying to make sense of her sacrifice. I would give anything if what happened to Rachel had not happened. Um, I miss her profoundly, but I feel very positive about the fact that she was doing something that she felt so good about. I knew Rachel was going there to be nonviolent. There was no use of asking her to leave or not to go. Uh, and you can't wish your child to be less than they can be. What makes an idealistic student travel across the world to die for someone else's cause? Why did Rachel die? And what did her death achieve? In January 2003, Rachel joined a small group of foreign activists working for the International Solidarity Movement. The ISM performs direct actions in Gaza against the Israeli occupation.
I can't make out what accent that was. It, it sounded English for a second, but, um, you know, again, like, you know, colonizer, uh, colonizer entity. What, what, it's a colony. What do you want me to say? Uh, I'll just remind you also, there was a, a documentary that was made about a year uh, before that, I think 2004, and it's called Death in Gaza. And <laughs> guess what? They, ki they killed the producer. I think his name was James Miller. Um, who is uh, from the UK. They, they shot him, killed him, uh, the Israelis. Of course, you know, this is what they do. So it's very important to, to, to remember these things because when, you know, when push comes to shove, and, and it will, the Israelis will have no problem killing, as they have done in the past, uh, British citizens and American citizens. And you, have, you need to understand that. And I'm not, I'm not joking. Again, I, do, I don't need to start bringing up um, USS Liberty and King David Hotel and all these things. Uh, al although these are potent examples, but I'm, I'm telling you, the mentality of the Zionists is that, you know, w the West is supposed to serve them. And, and when I say West, I'm not, I'm not talking about the governments. Screw the governments. I'm talking about the people, right? Like your, you, their point of view is that you should go slave away in a factory and then give them all your money so they can do whatever they want, you know, genocide, uh, <laughs> bulldozing houses, whatever. This is their mentality, and that's a fact, and this is how they think. You know, you, if, you're, if you're not Jewish, you're goyim to them, you're a human animal. This is what they think, this is what they believe. These are not people who are rational, uh, these are not people who uh, believe in the Bible that you, you think uh, uh, they mean. These are people who follow the Talmud, they are irrational. They, they cannot be reasoned with. Look at the violence. Look at the violence that they are carrying out. Look at this violence. Whether it's racial, whether it's, you know, uh, the, the massacres today. Look, look at the violence. They do not care. They really think less of everyone else. And, and, and um, you know, they, 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 they very, they very, very, um, they're very, very much inclined to, to behave this way because they can get away with it as well. You know, Biden pretending like, oh, he keeps him in check. What a joke. What a joke. You know, what an absolute joke. You, th you really think that they're calling the shots. I mean, they're responsible, certainly, yes, but uh, it, it's not the, the, the dynamic that you think or, or many think is, is um, you know, at play here. That the Americans... They give the money and therefore they call the shots. No, it, it, it's <laughs> even if that were the case, that that's still just as bad. But you have to understand that the Israelis, their point of view is that we can get away with anything. You serve us. We can you know bulldoze you if you get in our way. Even if you're an American citizen or a British citizen, we don't care. We don't care. <laughs> I mean, it's funny because <laughs> they they um. Yeah, yeah, you shouldn't be given necessarily, uh, you know, special treatment just for being from America or Britain. Uh, even though a lot of people uh, think that, oh, wow. You know, but, but the Israelis mean it in a different way. I'm not talking about, you know, I'm not talking about that. I mean something very different. I'm talking about a malicious, really spiteful kind of uh, attitude and, and the contempt that they harbor for others who are, who are not like them. You know, you're not an Ashkenazi Jew. You're less... You're, you're, you're subordinate to them. This is, this is how Israelis think. That's why they, they bulldozed and crushed Rachel Corey to death. That's why last week they crushed a Palestinian man with a tank um, during the flower massacre. Yeah, this is why. You, have, you, you, you must be ingrained with this mentality if you behave like that. I mean, what other, what, what other uh, possible explanation can you offer? <laughs>